this was a discussion that uh, we, we had a little bit the other day during the game. Uh, we wanted to get your thoughts on who is the third most valuable player on the Patriots. Um, now, uh, I'm talking about Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski are number one and number two. But after that, it gets a little hazy. I mean, considering all the injuries on the defense this year, all the injury. I mean, Julian Edelman might be th- the third most, but he's gone. So, so in your mind, who is the third most valuable player on the Patriots? Yeah, well, it's weird to give out awards like team MVP for the Patriots because it's so obvious, and like you said, the second most valuable player, without Rob Gronkowski, it's hard to imagine what this team would be. Now, we were discussing earlier that the player who led the Patriots in yards from scrimmage was Brandon Cooks, and Cooks is in a weird spot this year because he's sort of run hot and cold, but he's never really been the guy that the Patriots have turned to in crunch time when they really needed a big play. They've gotten a lot of production out of him, but he's never felt like the guy. If if I had to give it, I would give it to sort of the offensive line as a whole because they've played well, they've stayed healthy, and they've kept the offense going even when the skill position players are uh, been running off uh, on and off. I think the third best player in the Patriots is either Devin McCourty or Deion Lewis, even though Deion Lewis wasn't the starting running back at the beginning of the year. I think the way Deion Lewis has emerged over the season has been remarkable. It's been amazing to watch his progression as a player and his role grow with the Patriots. Um, he was a real exciting player in 2014 when he first joined, and it, 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 there's a lot of optimism that, like, God, this guy's got to turn into a great player, and then he tore his ACL and then got derailed, and he was still working his way back last year. I think he's finally turning into the player that everyone thought he would be when he first broke onto the scene, and I think he's the best overall running back the Patriots have had since Corey Dillon. Devin McCourty is a versatile leader. He's a great leader on the defense. And he does a lot of things quietly that makes the defense work together well. And while Deion Lewis, you can see all of his production, makes a lot of great plays. He makes guys miss. Devin McCourty is a... He has a very kind of muted... He doesn't... You don't see his impact as much. So it's I'd say tie between Deion Lewis and Devin McCourty. For sure, yeah. I think Lewis is kind of the uh, top candidate for the number three right there. I mean, he's leading the team overall in touchdowns this year. I think he has 10 on the year. And I think it's pretty well spread out. I think he has five rushing, four receiving, and then one uh, return touchdown. So he affects the Patriots in a lot of different areas. I wanted to turn to kind of right in front of Deion Lewis and uh, talk about Shaq Mason a little bit. He was a possible Pro Bowl snub. Uh, The Patriots have had a lot of success running the ball this year or even getting the ball to running backs in the flats. And uh, almost every time you see Shaq Mason pulling out there and getting uh, in front for a big block, he's been excellent this year. He's been a big reason why the running game has been so effective. And uh, you've seen the Patriots put in a number of different players. I mean, uh, Mike Gillisley has five touchdowns this year, and he only played a few games. Uh, Rex Burkhead has eight touchdowns this year, and he got injured for most of the season. So those running backs have been really effective, and a lot of the reason is because they've been able to run behind Shaq Mason or uh, catch screen passes and then run behind Shaq Mason. And so um, it's one of those things that he doesn't necessarily show up on any stats stats that stat sheets or anything, but uh, you look at the film and then you just watch, oh, there's Shaq Mason again, just crushing a linebacker and sending Deion Lewis to the house, so um, Mason has been uh, probably the best offensive lineman uh, of that group, but as you said, the whole group's been pretty good. Um, Nate Solder has uh, done a pretty good job. Cameron Fleming and Adrian Waddle stepping in for Marcus Cannon has been pretty impressive, and David Andrews has been much better than anyone could expect. Uh, Andrews is probably pretty happy after the Rose Bowl last night, but um, but yeah, so uh, I think that the offensive line as a whole has been uh, really impressive for the Patriots. Yeah, going back to Mason, it's kind of remarkable how good he's been because he was a, a scouting combine snub coming out of college. He was, a lot of people didn't think he would be able to make it in the NFL because getting a snub from the combine is like being an undrafted free agent. Those are guys who are on people's radars and it's like, oh yeah, he'll have a shot in the NFL. For for most guys. Apparently, the NFL didn't even think Shaq Mason is worth a look, and he's come such a long way because he's a little bit undersized. He's about like six foot one. He's around three hundred, a little bit under. He's a smaller guy as a, for an NFL guard, but he's so fast and athletic and powerful. And he came from an offense that was a Georgia Tech. They run a triple option heavy flex bone offense, and it's basically just all runs. So to see how he's come as how far he's come as a pass blocker it's been remarkable to see and it's great to see the sort of player he's developed into and see the Patriots identify 
a guy who had a lot of growing to do, and then he just fulfills it. It's, it's been really great to see. Yeah, and when they drafted him, they drafted Trey Jackson as well. And it's remarkable to see kind of like uh, the two different paths. Jackson got cut, I believe, last year, and Mason has kind of developed into a star here. So they took a couple shots at guard. One of them didn't work out. One of them was worked out very, very well. And so uh, his mobility and just kind of his uh, ability to work in both passing and running situations has been key for the offensive line this year.